Hey, today I'm going to play Raising the Bar Redux 1.2, Division 1.2, I'm not really sure what Division means in this regard, but let's just roll with it. But <coughs> First thing I uh, immediately noticed that there are um, save files already present in this um, in this build so you might want to look out for that next time and in the mm, settings I also noticed in the uh, sounds that it was set to default by this 7.1 um, thing yeah you might want to look out for that too I'm not sure why is that but you know, you can change it easily, so it's not such a big deal. I uh, I was looking around in the folders, and I seen there's quite a lot of maps actually. There's like eight. Rise and shine, Mister Freeman. You've been waiting for quite some time now. Not that the passage of time has held much meaning for you. But elsewhere, things have been a bit complicated. Reality has a curious manner of advancement. Wouldn't you agree? Do not be concerned with what you see. We're not really here. Not yet. Ten years is a long time, Mr. Freeman. A lifetime for some. Events change and people grow complacent. They've forgotten the happenings of the past. The scars have healed, and a sense of pride has all but vanished. <laughs> you, however, have not forgotten. You remember your friends. You remember the feeling of freedom. You remember the sky. It was no time at all for you. In times of trouble, man has always looked for someone to emulate, an initiator. Climb aboard, Mr. Freeman. It's time to wake up. All right, thank you, CW3D, for the TED talk. <coughs> it was a nice impersonation, he is good with the uh, Jimmy boy, so I gotta give it to him. Uh, sometimes it's like spot on. <laughs> Loud. <coughs> okay, uh, yeah, sometimes it's like spot on, but it, you can really hear that it's not the real thing. But that's alright, I mean, you gotta work with what you have, basically. This is my third transfer this year. I didn't see you get on, no matter how many times I've been relocated, I didn't get used to it. So, I, I really felt like uh, that I'm still gonna make it a bit more silent because it's really loud for me. Anyway, um that G-Man talk, in my opinion, is, is just my opinion, it was just a bit long for my liking. No. And the talk about, uh, he he talked about things like, uh, you remember your friends, you're in the sky, I mean, I'm, I'm not really sure if, this, if that is necessary, in a way, you know, I mean, 
you know what you rem uh, your remember you don't need to be reminded of what you remember <coughs> yeah. so in the last video I talked about how I'm not a big connoisseur of beta mods basically but here we are again um, me playing another beta mod it's like a fucking meme of me not really knowing anything about it but yeah I'm still playing it so I'm just gonna give my take on the level design and the gameplay flow just a little bit just my uh, yeah just my take on it really so yeah. <laughs> it j just tiny nitpicks and stuff um, so right off the bat this um, this cargo is not really matching the size of the other things I mean you can see you can't really connect these two together it, this is uh, much smaller I think it's an episode 2 um, cargo when you are driving around in that jeep oh that is pretty I can't re I can't zoom in with the Z because I yet I, I don't have a suit yet Yeah, I mean the skybox is really pretty. I mean, I like these distant, big skyscrapers. Hmm. Right. I feel like this um, this train could have been a little bit longer, or these carriages could have been changed to like that because this that is the only uh, uh, carriage that carries uh, per, um, people mm, but not the rest who knows what's inside of those carriages oh that's a good sound now his voice changed. He doesn't really seem to do anything when I press press E on him. If I talk to you out here, we'll both be in trouble. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I I didn't uh, play with the um, last um, version of this. I've seen other people play it, but I. I didn't get around it. And this this is really cool, in my opinion. This is a really good uh, underpass. It's really believable, in my opinion. It's just so quiet. But I mean, I mean, so much you can do with the source mod. Am I right? Oh, it's the council, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, he's like <laughs> nothing here, but he's standing here selling stuff, but he actually has nothing to make you forget. I don't even know how I got here. Oh, I remember, yeah. What the hell? This looks really cool. Bit fancy, but well, that's how things are in this industrial. Uh, Setting. I mean, I, I. You have arrived in the mind. walls of City Seventy, having been relocated to one of the finest remaining industrial centers. Oh, this huge fucking carpet! I don't know what is doing here, like in the middle of a fucking train station. I really like the details up there. 
I'm wondering, wondering if it's a model or a, just a funk detail made out of brushes. I mean, maybe it's it's just my fault, but yeah, it it must be. I set the um, subtitles to English, but it's, it doesn't really do anything. I mean, it was in uh, it was on English by default, but it's still Hungarian. Oh, <laughs> was it worth it? Was it worth it? You could at least snap his neck. That's a good touch, like seeing a train just coming in, just stuff happening around you that, um, that is like, you, you have nothing to do with it, but life is still happening, you know. In my opinion, uh, the player should have come with this train. Or something f similar, something similar, because this train is looking more believable. You know, it's three carriages only carrying people, and not just only one, and the rest of the the rest is mystery. And it just looks more nice, in my opinion. Mm, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It would be cool if I could open this, but... Eh. Citadel. Citadel. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, you don't really need to know everything to enjoy a good mod. Just putting that out there. You don't need to know everything about this... Uh, about this beta shit to really enjoy the experience. Greetings, citizens. You have arrived within the walls of City 17. Having been relocated to one of the oh, finest that's remaining beautiful. industrial centers, that's beautiful. City 17's manufacturing yield is such that my administration within the Citadel was established here. Willis, your work detail is organized. You will find the relevant environment here provided by your overseers. Chow time. The true city sense serves their duty to the combine and to your cons. That's a weird outfit. Wow. It's like that superhero movie with the ring, you know, the green ring or whatever. That kind of thing. Um, I mean, most people tend to forget. I mean, this mod is exceptional because it's kind of professional. <laughs> and they think about the background and how the people should get in here if they were working. So they put a door here. I mean, most people forget to put doors <laughs> there. Like, oh, you might want to fix. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. There's a hinge. Never mind. And level change. Oh, there's an invisible wall. I can't go back. Why? Wait, if if they lock the door behind me, why can't I go back? No. Oh. What is that? Is that a is it a train? From a weird angle, it must be. 
Here's the council, city. Seat 4, city 17. It's great to be a part of the greater good. Yeah. It's a propaganda. Here you can buy tickets for the trains. I mean, well, not anymore. I mean, who buys tickets in this in these times? <laughs> I mean, now it looks nothing like um, like the original train station, but yeah, I guess it it shouldn't be. Anyways, oh, that's cool. I mean, I, I was thinking, I was thinking there should, there is a invisible wall, but apparently not. Oh, that's a nice environmental storytelling. I mean, dead bodies hidden here. That's nice. That's a nice touch. I mean, dead bodies aren't nice. Ooh! Wow! Nice door. That's cool. I mean, they will stand here to the end of the time. To the end of time. cool how you change Breen without making it look like I mean, shit it's it's really it, it just fits it's cool yeah invisible walls and it's gone and the door closes oh I so wanted to see what's inside there Probably nothing, but <laughs> why is this combined soldier on? I mean, metro cop on display. Weird. I I, I can't get up there because it's an invisible wall. Yet again. Oh yeah, I s I'm supposed to meet him. Yeah, but I don't want to fight. I want to look around. It's cool how some windows are, you know, um, are lit up because there are people inside there, like actually living. That's just a nice touch. I mean, as I can see, the texture is different. It's not just a uh, light I put in front of it and it lights up. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. And they have no reason to come to our place. Don't, don't worry, worry don't they find worry. one. Transformation through evisceration. Evisceration. What? Evisceration. Yeah. This place is just nice, I could spend all day here. Are these... Yeah, they must have been like models. These ropes I'm talking about. Who would want to sit here, by the way? <laughs> In front of the... Um, like, wh where the car's passing. You're just sitting here and like, the car passes. In front of you, that makes... I don't know if that makes any sense because it's not like cars can't come here like there aren't any bumpers or you know like small poles that prevent the cars from coming here anyways that's it's kind of a weird bench
How did how did we get up there? Or it's a um elevator that you wait in, like a watchtower. Hey, get your free TVs, am I right? I know the meme. Okay. Let me see if I can get this open. Uh, what if I don't? Uh oh. Alright, nothing is gonna happen. Okay. This door opened for some reason. I like the sounds of the Mechtra Cup. Like, very really much. Along the sign here, there must be something. Does anyone care what I think? Juicy in here. Hmm, what's this? Like despite being the stairs being broken, I can just get up. Oh, never mind. I don't know what was that about, but the stairs were already broken, and I could just get up here like no problem. And by the way, I have no idea where I'm going. I can't get inside this vent without jump jumping. Maybe you should consider like putting a small ramp of player clip here so player doesn't have doesn't have to jump necessarily I mean what the fuck am I doing right now do I need to go up ah yeah where am I I can use this for some reason, I didn't get a key card from anywhere. Is this a teleporter? No. What? It's so weird. Soldiers marching down there. Good touch. Where are they going though? Are oh, they get? Are they gonna keep on spawning like infinitely? Okay. That's where we came from, I guess. Yep, yep, yep. I uh, recognize the big dome. <laughs> what? It's so dark, I can't see. There's an invisible wall, I can't... I can't... What? I don't understand. Is, is water down here? 
I can't see shit anyway, let's just fucking move. Weird graffiti placement, but that's alright. I like these seemingly pointless details. Like, on the, who would look on the ceiling? But there's something. There's a small vent. Someday, this will all be a bad memory. I wouldn't say them too loud. Invisible walls, come on! Why are there so many invisible walls? I would wanted to go there. I mean, it's okay if they don't shove me off, like, why they are, are in a conversation. Just let me go there. Oh, what was that? Oh, it was a tram! That's so cool! Are, is, it, is it gonna come back? Maybe it will hit me violently. Like without stopping. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in there just yet because... Because I'm just not. Maybe it's the way forward. Maybe not, I have no clue. This mod is a perfect example for for the where the fuck do I go kind of games, you know? And it's not necessarily bad that I don't have, I, I don't know where I'm going, I've seen this poster before. It's not necessarily bad. It's just kind of frustrating sometimes that you have so many questions but you don't get the answers. And it's still the second map, so it's like fucking huge. Let's just go. And we are on to the third map. <laughs> 